man oh man I got something special to show y'all tonight boy oh boy it's the 2003 Ford F1 50 XLT with a Triton motor if you watch this video right now you must have been super interested in this truck on Facebook marketplace let me show it to you right now So everybody and their mama is interested in buying this truck right now. When I say and their mama, I mean it, man. I just had a man call me a minute ago. He said, my wife is looking at that truck and wants it right now, tonight. Well, him and his wife may be on the way here and getting here in about another hour and a half or so. So while that time is going on, guess what Mr. Chad the salesman is doing? I'm going to get in the truck. I'm going to look at it. I'm going to drive it, I'm going to figure out what's going on with it, so when those people arrive here tonight, I can show them this truck and be confident that this is going to be a decent truck for them to buy. Because it looks absolutely gorgeous on the outside and the inside, but we still need to get in there and then run it down the road and see how that transmission and motor is running. Now the 2003 Ford F-150 was definitely a good year for Ford trucks. I mean, people just love that smooth, clean front end. You know, of course we got a little fadage going on right in here, where it might have been black at one point, or actually might have been the kind of that goldish color like the paint on the outside. But it looks good, it's clean, the bumper's in great shape. Shape. Fenders look good. Got a lot of shine in the paint, which is a great indication there of a nice clean car or truck that's been well maintained from the previous owners. The windshield's also in great shape. You know, no major cracks or anything like that going on there. It has the Triton V8 XLT, so it's got a good motor, right? Extended cab. I mean, it gets better and better as we go. You got your nice tinted back window, so it's not your basic old work truck with a clear back window. And then you got your bed liner back here not bad at all man I tell you I told the guys at the dealership here I said if y'all get more trucks in stock I'm guaranteed to sell trucks every single day of the week but you know some of these old Dodges that we've been getting out here just aren't getting it done you know you still got to buy a good truck you got to get a truck that's got some eye appeal to it and it's not all beat up right and that's the whole thing so anyways back bumpers in great shape you do got the tow package right there tailgate's looking good let's go ahead even got the the ball the reach ball over there so tires on the back are in great shape got plenty of tire shine they're not brand spanking new tires but they do meet the specifications okay nice got the steel wheel or the alloy whatever you want to call it let's go ahead and uh, use our button here look at that still unlocks the truck keyless entry Man, we're taking it back to the old school of the year 2003. Power windows, power door locks, power mirrors. You got your cloth seats in that tan color. The only imperfection I'm seeing on the interior right now is right here on that seat. It's missing that big chunk, and that's because everybody is sliding in and out right here. Okay, I mean, your butt is sliding right on that when it's time to get in and out of this truck. All right. So, I tell you, I would take this Ford truck over that Dodge Ram right there any given day of the week. I'm just a Ford kind of guy. I like Chevys too, I ain't gonna lie to you, but I just can't see driving a Ram truck. I mean, some people just love their Dodges, and that's fine and dandy, but I like a Ford. Alright, so it feels good, man. It's nice and solid. I'm loving this. This right here on the steering wheel cover, it's got those Ford logos there and that Palmetto Blue is looking nice here. you got cruise control. Let's take a look at the mileage on the truck. That's also important, 191,000 miles. Oh yeah, 411, so 191, 411. Got that going on. Got your CD player. Let's see if the air conditioner works. That's always important. And even on a 03 truck, you got to have some AC, right? Let's give it a little whirl. All right. I mean, it definitely feels cold already, which is nice, but it is a little cool outside. It's not freezing cold out there, but it's in the 50s today. But we got air conditioner. That's blowing cold. That's a positive, okay? Let's go ahead and switch the heat on. Let's see if that's working good. We're going to go over here and get it on the panel there. Oh, the engine sounds good. It's starting to warm up. Very nice. Still got your airbags. Even got back seats back here. I mean, back windows look like they open. The back doors even slide open as well. 
Let's go ahead and get the seat belts on. You got your oh crap handles right up here on the A pillar. Let's get our seat belt on. Let's take this Ford out for a, uh, for a test drive. All right, everybody. Let's take her out for a spin. Let's see how this old Ford truck drives, right? So far, everything's working good. AC, heat's working. Let's go ahead and see how that Triton's working. Wow, man, so far, feeling good. You're very comfortable inside of here. I'm liking these seats. I mean, I can definitely tell it's gonna probably need a new set of tires. That will definitely make it ride a little bit smoother than, uh, than it is now, but still pretty good. I mean, it's riding pretty nice. Um, another thing I like about it is it's, it doesn't seem to be pulling to the right or left too hard, okay? Let me switch the camera view around so you can see what I'm talking about. See, I have no hands on the steering wheel. It's going straight, okay? So that's, that's a good thing. Um, the alignment is in good shape. We want to go ahead and test our brakes out right up here, but before we do, let's uh, let's give it a little a little uh, press of the gas pedal down here. You always want to see how she's shifting. Three, two, one. Man, very nice acceleration. I don't notice anything odd. I mean, there's no slippage of the transmission. I mean, it's driving great. I'm gonna go ahead and give it another hit on the gas. Oh man, that Triton V8 wants to get up and go. Let's pull in at the gas station, test out the brakes and suspension and see how that's doing. Right now, I'm liking what we got going on here with the truck. The brakes do need to be probably churned on the rotors, okay? I mean, I got a little bit of vibration there on our, on our rotors when we, uh, uh, when we hit the brakes. Um, turning the rotors isn't really a too difficult task to get done. If anything, it's just time consuming. You know, you gotta take the brake ro you gotta take the rotors off, put them on a machine and churn them. And hell, at that, after that much time putting spin in there, you might as well just go ahead and put brand new rotors on it. But um, that's what you feel. If, you, if you're driving your car down the road and you hit the brakes and your steering wheel does a little jiggle wiggle, a little shake, um, a vibration, that means the rotors are starting to get little lines and grooves in them, and that's why that's happening, okay? Um, so that's really a simple fix. It's not a safety problem, though, at least not at this point on this truck. Um, it's still going to stop for us. Let's go ahead and pop the hood and see how that Triton is looking under there now that we've kind of warmed up that big old V8. One thing for sure, I really do like this body style, man. It's nice and clean. I also like that there's shocks on the hood. And there's your 4.6 liter. There's your intake. Got your uh, brake brakes back there. I mean, yeah, it could use a little wash under here. Nothing, you know, a little degreaser, a little purple purple is never gonna hurt the motor. And um, you got a Napa battery under there, good to go. Washer fluid. You know, we got this strap in here that's pretty much holding that battery in place so it doesn't jiggle all around, which is okay. And um, yeah, so there you have it. Not a bad looking truck. Um, not bad. Now one thing that's good, you know, some people might say, hey man, you ought to clean off the engines before you sell them or put them on the lot. but. And I've thought that before, you know, it would look nice being cleaned under there, but at one point here you think about it and you say, well, at least if the engine is the way it is when it got traded in or whatnot, at least you can kind of look under there and, and see the engine for what it is and make sure, you know, nobody pressure washed grease or oil or anything like that. At least you can look under here and say, all right, I see something there, I see something there, you know, that kind of thing. So I think that might be a little bit better. Now, after you buy it, you want to clean it, go for it. But, I mean, right now, this is a pretty nice truck here, this Ford F-150. I mean, did we take a look at the price? $39.95 up there. I mean, there you go. Obviously, it was on a car lot at some point, and somebody couldn't sell it, because it looks like it had a balloon up there at some point. That's an indication that this car was on a car lot before it made it to my car lot, because we don't put balloons on cars at the Auto Buy Center. I don't know why we don't. If it was my store, oh hell yeah, baby, I'd have balloons and flags and 
everything. I'd make it look like the coolest used car dealership in the Chucktown area. But we're keeping it clean at the Auto Buy Center with our greens and, you know, simple colors and fancy jazz music when you walk in with pretty Picasso paintings, I guess. Everybody's got their own kind of style, you know? If I owned my own dealership, I'd have cool pictures of cars and trucks up on the walls and you'd want to come to my store because it's going to be a cool place to hang out at, to be at. You're going to want to buy a car at my store, you know? And you're going to want to hang out with me because I'm the guy that's cool to hang out with. You know, that's the kind of vibe I'd like to give off at my own dealership. Unfortunately, though, I don't have my own dealership. <laughs> so, you know, you can wish all you want. Wish upon a star. But maybe one day I can somehow find a friend or somebody that'll back me on getting a car dealership started because man i love selling cars and working with automobiles i just love the car business and um and automobiles so maybe that's what we'll do you know so hey just a quick little uh announcement if you're if you're looking for uh if you're looking for somebody to help you start a car dealership hey i'm here i'm ready <laughs> anyways guys let's go ahead and take the truck back on down to the dealership and hopefully our appointment will come in tonight to come see it everybody wants a good deal for sure you know i mean everybody wants a great deal on a vehicle that heat is definitely starting to get a bit hot let's roll our window down it's still working and uh, let's listen to the sounds of the highway here in ravenel oh it's a great sound So the, you know, the, the Triton motor that's under the hood of this truck might not be the biggest Ford motor that Ford ever made, but let me know in the comments section, what do y'all think of that 4.6 liter? Was it a good motor for Ford back in 2003 or the years before or the years after? Let me know. Again, I'm no expert on trucks. I like filming them, I like checking them out, I like driving them, and I love learning from what y'all have to say online. Anyways guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching. We're going to try to keep this a little bit shorter. We don't need an 18 to 20 minute video on such a nice vehicle. But thanks again. Come see me. My name is Chad at the Auto Buy Center. And hey, I'm down to give everybody a great deal if they'll just spend some time with me at my store. We'll see you soon.